If I jump into a source code, for example, a REST API, one written in Java, one written in Go, I could definitely read the Go language much better. Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to share why I chose Go as my next programming language. Golang, made by Google for Google, was later open sourced and made available for us to use and learn. Together with that, I also wanted to share some of the guidelines I use and how I chose a new programming language to learn and add on my toolset. So if you're a developer who's looking for something new to try or wondering when to learn a new language or what language to choose, how do you choose? Do you just go with what's currently trending out there? Um, the Stack Overflow survey affects how you choose. Like if you see the number one language there, do you just go for it? Or having a guideline that suits your personal needs a better option. So let's start. Personally, I only know three languages before I learned Go. So these are Java, JavaScript, and PHP. These three languages are languages that I did not want to learn. So what I mean is that these languages are, I only learned them because it was a requirement. So they were forcefully injected to my brain. Just like when you were born, you don't get to choose your own language, right? So Java and PHP was the introductory programming languages I learned during college. But I, I think there was still one more, which is Visual Basic. But I didn't use that after that one subject, so let's forget about it. And JavaScript, which was, you know, always popping out here and there because of web development. I didn't formally try to learn it, but eventually you will need it because of it really complements web development. And I was using jQuery back then, so props to jQuery. Throughout my career, I used them all together, but PHP was the first one that I had to let go because I only have used it on my internship and on my first job. Afterwards, I only have used um, Java and JavaScript and forgotten PHP, and now I'm also using Go. Enough about history. So I have Java and JavaScript. So why did I needed to learn a new language? As we progress our developer journey, the more languages we know will be the better as we can work more on different projects. And as for me, as a freelancer, not all of the projects that I get will be using Java. There's this task to migrate one system written in another language to another, like Python to Go, Node.js to Go, so you'll at least need to understand both of these languages in order to work on them. And it's also quite interesting to know why this big company shifts from one language to another like Golang. Or sometimes they are on Golang but they shift to Rust. So if you're interested on this, I'll leave some links down below. And if I were to apply for a new job, me to senior level, let's say, then on the job post, they'll indicate that they prefer um, candidates with two or more languages experiences, let's say Java and PHP, but also willing to work with Golang, for you say. But sometimes one language is just better at another language on some tasks. And this is one of the core reasons why the Google engineers created Go because they were using another language at that time and the compile time on those big projects in Google was just really slow. And this is one of Go's advantages, the faster compile times. So how did I end up using Go? What were the thoughts of choosing a new language? So I definitely checked the results in the Stack Overflow survey, but it was up to me to do the next steps. I saw Go on the list and I decided to research on it. The first thing is that I tried to pick a language based on what I want to focus on developing next. So I'm a full stack developer and being a full stack developer is great because you can try front end and back end at the same time. And then later on you can pick which one to specialize on. Now I'm trying to focus more on the back end which means web services, microservices and maybe cloud services in the future. But I need a language that could handle this really well with low cost and concurrency and is easily scalable. And coming from Java, I'm liking Go here by a lot. I also wanted to delve more into the command line tools. And this was actually my first project using Golang. This introduced me to Golang. And by being able to build a set of binaries for different operating systems I needed was a turning point. No dependencies, one binary file output, no nonsense, just run perfectly. It was production ready. Second, I wanted the language to be much more simpler and much more readable from what I've already know. If I jump into a source code, for example, a REST API, one written in Java, one written in Go, I could definitely read the Go language much better because the Java has this all sorts of annotations that if you're a beginner, you don't know what, what this means or what it's used for. 
But another way is that instead of using annotations in Java, one could use a configuration file. But then again, if a language has too many features, one could just waste time choosing which one to use. And if a new developer comes in, he asks this question, why does the code work this way and not the other way? So for me, just having one way is much, much simpler. It will be easier to understand and it will be easier to work on. If the language is complicated, you'll need to understand more in order to read and work on the code. Also, when you program in Go, there is usually this opinionated and idiomatic way of doing things. Like formatting your code, for example. In JavaScript, you'll need to find a linter and the rules could vary from developer to developer or company to company. But in Go, there is this Go Fump or Go FMT, whichever they call it. And this Go FMT is a built-in tool for Go that will automatically uh, format your code. So you and your team won't have to debate anymore on that minor formatting issues like spacing and where that curly braces should be placed because Go will do it for you. Go will also not compile if you have unused imports. So for me, coming from a language that by default you can compile and run your code in production even with these imports lying around and no one is actually using them. So Go is implementing these good practices right in the beginning and will be really helpful for new programmers as well. So they also have this separate page just for writing idiomatic Go code. Some other things that I took into consideration for choosing a language is that I still wanted a statically typed language because for me overall this is the better option for large projects. Next, the syntax should be simple, clean, and generally an easy to learn language. And the next one is the, a language that has a first class functions. Next is an active community where everyone can voice out their thoughts and could potentially drive the development progress of the language itself. Most recently was the approval of generics in Go. So learning a language that's still quite young is really good to be exposed as a developer to see how these major features get implemented. And for me personally, I'd like to see that every version release, I'm excited to see the change logs and actually understand what those changes are. And lastly, the built-in tooling for the language. So Go has a built-in package manager and a built-in testing framework. So for quick prototyping, you don't need to decide which one to use. But of course, I didn't forget about Go's error handling. So if you research on Go, you will probably see some of the articles ranting about Go's error handling. My take on this is quite positive. So coming from an exception handling languages, I found out that Go helped me be a better developer actually. Because in Go, you will need to always know when your errors will be produced and you will always need to handle it every time. It is in the language's design that encourages developers to explicitly check where these errors would occur. But some say it's too repetitive or the code could easily be messy with a bunch of nil checks. And I totally agree on that. But there are some ways to improve it and one way is by abstraction. I'll post a link down below if you're interested on in checking that. And there we go. Those were just the guidelines I use when choosing Golang as my next new programming language. I just added another tool for building something I'd like and it is not meant to totally ditch another language. So for me, I will always have a front-end language which for web, which is JavaScript, and maybe later on another one for mobile development. Because as a software engineer, having a variety of language in our toolset could only make us better and more ready to solve different problems. If you need help getting started with Go or getting started in programming in general, let me know down in the comments below and I will check that out. And as always, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you on the next 